Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and today we're going to be answering one of our most popular questions all about Microsoft Teams. How do you connect your Google Drive and your Google folders into Microsoft Teams? Today, I've got three different ways to show you. Let's dive into Microsoft Teams. So here we are in Microsoft Teams, and the first thing that we want to do is to connect our Google Drive folders. We're going to click over onto the Files application, and you can see that we have our recent files, our Microsoft Teams files, our downloads, and we also have quick connections to OneDrive. But you'll notice that we have a Dropbox file here. We can certainly use that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link all the way at the bottom. It says Add Cloud Storage. Here I can add my box. I can add my Dropbox, but today I want to add Google Drive. I'm going to click on the Google Drive button, and this is going to ask me to sign in to my Google account. Now the next thing it's going to ask me to do is to allow the permissions. And here you can see we have all of our Google folders and files right here into Microsoft Teams. Now here's the second way that you can bring your Google files directly in to Microsoft Teams. You'll see here on the right side of our screen, we have a Google Slides presentation. And the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna click on Share, and I wanna make sure that this link is set to anybody on the internet can view, which it currently is. I'm gonna copy the link and click on Done. Over in Microsoft Teams, I'm going to click on to the plus button here inside of one of our public channels, and I'm going to click on Website. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is to create a name for our tab, and I'm going to want to paste the URL. I'm going to deselect Post to the Channel about this tab, and I'm going to click on Save. You'll notice that our Google slide presentation and its entire website is now loading inside of a tab in Microsoft Teams. If I'm in the posts, all I need to do is click on my presentation and everything loads correctly. But what happens if you don't want the entire Google Slides application to load inside of Microsoft Teams? In order to accomplish our goal of just having the presentation be viewed, I'm gonna first click on File, Publish to Web, and then under the Link section, I'm gonna grab the link right here in our Publish to Web settings. I'm gonna again come back over here to Microsoft Teams, click on the plus, click on Website, and I'm gonna say My, my Presentation 2, and I'm gonna click on the URL, again, deselect and save, and now you'll notice that my presentation loads directly inside the window, and if I want to advance the slides, I certainly can going back and forth, and all the videos play inside the presentation. So there's the second way of adding Google Files into Microsoft Teams. Now the third way of bringing Google Files into Microsoft Teams has to be my favorite. This is the one that I use more often than not because it allows me to bring a lot of Google Files into my Microsoft Teams environments, and that's by sharing not a file, but an actual Google folder. On the right side, you can notice that I have a Google Drive folder opened up, and I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna click Get Link. Now you'll notice here I've got my permissions. Now if I was gonna be sharing an entire folder, this might be a folder for a team, or this might be a folder for me individually, and I might not want everybody to access it. This is extremely useful when you're working with departments, PLCs, and some of that sensitive information. So I'm going to want to make sure that I have my restrictions on. Do I want anybody with this link to see it or do I want it restricted to only a certain people or groups? I like mine restricted. I'm going to click on copy link. And now again, just as we've done before, I'm going to click on the plus button. I'm going to click on website. I'm going to call it Google Drive folder, paste the URL, uncheck the box and click Save. And when I do, you'll notice I have my entire Google Drive folder in here, and only I can see this because we set those settings to be restricted. If I'd like to, I can certainly deep dive into any of these files, folders, and have everything on my Google Drive right here at my disposal. 
So as you can see, it is very easy to bring all of your Google files and folders into your Microsoft Teams environments. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We're going to be creating a bunch of different videos for how you can bring Microsoft Teams into your school, building, or classroom environment. And that wraps up this episode. On behalf of everybody here in TeacherCast, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.